Greetings, everyone. Hello, my name is Desiree Coger Gustafson, attorney with Immigration for Couples. Welcome to our weekly live attorney chat. If you are new to our firm or new to our Facebook page, we regularly come on and share topics or insights about the immigration process or questions, respond to questions that we are hearing in our consultations, et cetera. So if you find this helpful, um, please feel free to comment, like, or share with um, relevant parties or friends that you feel like may benefit from these um, live attorney chats. Also, if you're watching us live, please feel free to comment in the comment section. And if I see them while I'm on here live, I will try to answer them. And then if for some reason you're watching on replay, you certainly can comment in the comment section and we will get back to those as well. Or you'll see them in another weekly live attorney chat later on. Um, I always catch you here Thursdays at 11 o'clock, barring um, some other major um, event, uh, vacation or a hearing as such. So um, certainly feel free to check in with us um, if that be the case. So today I have two kind of just recent topics to discuss. One you may have heard about is the proposed rule changes, um, mostly with regard to filing fees for USCIS. That kind of came out January 4th of this year. And um, basically any proposed fee increases or uh, rule changes first come out as a proposed for a notice and comment period. So the public knows that these things are coming or being thought of and it gives you time to respond. So we essentially have 60 days after January 4th, so that'll put us into March, to make any comments on the proposed fee increases. They are quite a bit of an increase, um, and we're looking at certain forms, those for us, um, and for our firm's purposes, that we would see um, be most impacted would be the travel document, the I-131, the employment authorization, 765, and the adjustment of status, um, the 485. Those are proposed to be increased by several hundred dollars. They are also looking at a couple of different changes in regard to the fee, fee structures, um, such as increasing uh, or including the biometrics. Right now it is an, a, an additional or separate charge. They would include those in some of the fees. Um, instead of having them be separate. They're also proposing um, additional other things, but maybe um, separating out some of different costs for certain types of forms that are used different ways. The I-129 is one that comes to mind. 360 is always also used like that. Those forms are used for several different types of applications. So there are a couple that they're thinking about proposing different changes for each of those. Um, also, um, they're trying to move towards online filing. We've not found that as of yet to be super helpful for attorneys um, and not work super well, but I know they're pushing for that. So we're hoping they continue to make that um, more widely available and more user friendly and more reliable. But they're looking to have decreased fees for those applications and those people that apply online. And they're also looking at some th additional things like revising the premium processing from 15 days to 15 business days. So little nuances that might make a big difference in the processing world. Um, so just so you know, you certainly can find these online, certainly comment. Um, they are required to review the comments and then anything that is proposed that becomes final, then once it is reviewed and published in the federal register, then we would see those fees become um, increased incrementally from here on out. So we'll be looking for those to see if they finalize um, those rule, uh, those fee increases and additional um, rule changes. Subsequently, um, we are also talking about the, um, the opening of the consulate in Cuba. If any of you have been following this, it has been closed since 2017 for a myriad of reasons. They've been working on a skeleton crew, essentially. Um, a lot of the staff had been downstaffed. Um, and I know this is going to be really good news for some of our clients. And 
um, they are looking now have been op at opening and are full staff and accepting all visa types. So now there may be a, um, obviously you're still gonna be subject to limits and, and, and evidence and all of that, but they're at least processing them. There are some consulates that are only processing certain types. So it looks like Cuba will be open um, for all of those. So that is really good news. I did see um, in our comment that there's a question regarding um, expedited processing. And yes, um, we have a lot of information on that. Um, that is a very uh, evidence specific, situational specific. Um, so if I can um, take a closer look at your question, it's uh, pretty lengthy. And then um, we'll try to do another additional video on the expediting process in and of itself, if we haven't already um, touched base on that. So that kind of leads me to our resources page on our webpage. So if you want more information, certainly go to www.immigrationforcouples.com on our resources tab. We do have lots of different videos over various topics. Um, of course, we have a wealth of knowledge out there on our YouTube channel as well. Um, unfortunately, we are not necessarily seeing um, processing times. Thank you, Carolyn, for uh, watching and listening. We are not seeing them get any better for the I-129F, really for any um, case type currently. They did go back up um, wait times, processing times here um, just this past fall. So we're still kind of dealing with those. Hopefully now that holidays are kind of through, we will see um, them push forward. Uh, obviously, um, hiring and keeping good staff, those are all things that like I had addressed in our other video, um, I believe it was last week about just congressional support and making sure that Congress, your Congress representatives understand how the wait times and processing times impact you because they do authorize their budget and their ability to then um, have resources and to be able to hire people, um, not to mention the administrative part of just getting things through. I know they are making strides and working on it. So our hope is that that will then go back down this spring now that we're through the holidays and hopefully um, before some vacation times. So definitely if you, if you've helped found this helpful, please um, like, comment and share. You can certainly comment hashtag replay if you're watching this on replay as well. And we do, of course, check our comments and questions and certainly reach out, um, watch our videos on immigrationforcouples.com as well as YouTube. And thank you all for watching. And I will see you guys next week. Same time, 11 o'clock Thursday. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.